Life is unsatisfying. The idea of something is always better than the actual thing. We spend our lives planning plans and dreaming dreams, but do they ever actually materialize? At least how we hope. Our imagination drives our forethought, which paints a future that is caricatured and idealistic. When I was seven, my mother bought us tickets to see a Yankees game. She told us in the car ride there how much fun we were going to have. The seats, the sounds, the food, the smell, a memory to last a lifetime. I'll tell you one part she got right. The lasting memory, but it isn't one that I cherish. The guy next to me smelled of curry. The people behind us were loud and drunk, which also contributed to the smell. And the seats, well, they were okay, but a lot of the action happened near third base, and we were by right field. It may seem like I'm, uh, how should I word this? A downer. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. I am 26 years old. I think I've got a pretty firm grasp on this sour symphony we call life. I see myself as a realist. I try not to see the glass half empty or half full. Just what it is. Half water, half air. This way, I'm never disappointed. Only pleasantly surprised when the top half is more than just air and the bottom half is actually full. Really full. For example, I just bought these new boots. The picture on the website made them seem a lot nicer than they actually are, but I didn't expect them to be like the picture, and they weren't. See my point? I'm fine, because I lowered the bar to reality. Anyway, enough about me. What do you like to do? Uh, I'm Roman, by the way. I go powder my nose. Wait, I didn't get your name. She seems nice. Sir, are you planning on ordering anything? Uh, actually, I'm all set. I think I'm gonna get going. Thank you. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm fine. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not fine at all. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I do. I probably should talk about it. Well, not with you. But I probably should. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that the way no, it sounded. No, I understand. You know, it's just that I don't know you. I can't just <laughs> spill my whole life story to you. I That's fine. Make I get it. I get it. Uh, 
But, you know, the benefit of me being a stranger is that you could tell me your problems, vent your feelings, whatever they may be, and then never see me again. So, really, there would be no harm. I guess so. What's wrong? Well, my boyfriend, my fiance, is dead. Holy shit, you weren't kidding. <laughs> no, no, I was, <laughs> I was not kidding. No, I... I don't know how to act. I don't know how to feel. I think I must be numb. Well, when did this happen? Just now. What do you mean? Well, just now, I was on the phone with the hospital. I'd been visiting him... Town. He had had a heart attack. He was recovering. It, he was getting better. They said it was a minor heart attack. But I guess his heart just stopped. Beating. So, here I sit, this bus stop, waiting for the bus to come and take me back to an apartment that I won't recognize, where I'm going to live by myself. Can I say something? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, uh, this is good. Uh, you're showing emotion. You're expelling the pain. That's healthy. We were gonna get married. We're gonna move out in the suburbs. We had this, this perfect life. Now it's gone. Got nothing. It's all gone. Th that's not true. Do you have family? I do. I've got a son in Connecticut. He lives with his husband. You've got him? Yeah, I can get a hold of him. I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't be unloading all of this on you. I... I should just walk from here. Uh, no! No, please, don't! I... I need to know that you'll be alright. I... I can't give you that. Wait! It is impossible to grasp now, and I don't expect you to, and you won't. Why would you even listen to me? You will get through this. You do have a life. You lived before he came into your life, and you will live after you leave. What is the point? Look at me! I'm 48 years old! What's the point? Life is shit! It is a shit! Just when I think I have a firm grasp... I... I don't. I don't. It may seem that way now, but life is... An hour ago, you had hoped for a fresh start, a second chance, a new life. A new life that is still there, still waiting for you. And it's as full of possibilities as it was an hour ago. You just have to... Allow yourself 
to see it and reach for it. I don't see it. You will. Because as long as we're breathing, life is worth it. It is. Because in the end, it, it will have mattered. We will have mattered. And we will find our happiness. We will. Where's my bus? Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Roman. Yours? I'm Alice. Uh-oh. What? We're not strangers anymore. You're right. As she got on the bus, and it drove away, I realized something. I really do hate these boots.